Hello and welcome to episode 3 of Track to the Top with the Silver Grey Racer. Today we have four Grand Prix circuits, the Red Bull Ring, Nürburgring, Monza and Interlagos. And we go straight into the Red Bull Ring here. Okay, this is the, we're coming up to the fifth lap of five here. This is the first time I've driven the Red Bull Ring. And we come up to the infamous first corner here. Now most people normally cut onto the off track there on the red there but because I'm learning the track I'm sticking to the tarmac but with the latest update to Gran Turismo if you go too wide there you get a penalty and you have to serve them at the penalty gates where normally if you got a penalty you serve them at the second corner here because you have to slow down so much to take that corner but now you would take serve your penalty at this gates here so it, it's negated but because i'm learning the circuits i'm sticking to the tarmac okay so i'm not cutting that corner like you'll see everyone else do when you watch them race or when you do what you when you race okay now the fastest lap around here is Valtteri Bottas at one minute and three and as you can see i'm doing one minute 47 so i don't think Valtteri has got to worry about his job just yet from me anyway Maybe other people, but not from me. Okay, and as we come in now to the another purple sector there, we're coming almost off the track there. You don't want to go off on the grass on this circuit because it will just suck you completely off and you'll, you'll be lost for days. Uh, now we're coming to the last two cor corners here. These are two fast corners. You know, this is a fourth gear turn in here. You just need to take it about 80, 90 miles, 100 miles an hour here. You slow down a little bit here. You can't cut the corner that much there, you'll get yourself penalties. But then it's flat out all the way in now, no straight. And as you can see there, we, we did it in 1 minute 46.5. Now, again, if you go, if you see the Gran Turismo driving school, we wouldn't have even got a bronze medal there. A bronze medal qualification is at 1 minute 44.7. And we did it at 1 minute. 46 so we didn't get that we missed it by a couple of seconds there so we need to get a, a big improvement there as you can see again the sector times are all over the show so we've got a lot of work to do now and now we go into the Milberg ring okay um, again I like the Milberg ring it's a nice it's a nice track okay we go to this long straight here this is where we slam on the anchors and we skid everywhere now, if you see Lewis Hamilton do this in, in the Grand Prix, tell him to stop. It's my signature move, okay? Tell him to stop it. Don't want him copying me. Okay. Now, the fastest lap around this track is Michael Schumacher at 1 minute 29. So, he has nothing to worry about me breaking his lap record either. Me doing... Uh, me, me going at, one, at 2 minutes 20. Now, I... I did find out that a Nissan GTR did do this track in 2 minutes 13.6 So at 2 minutes 24 I'm not doing too bad, I've got some room for improvement but I don't think I'm doing too bad So Now the driving school itself says a bronze medal is 216 so I've obviously got some improvement to do on the driving school bronze medal there at 2, two minutes 16.3 so I've got to improve some 5 seconds to get into the bronze medal but the gold medal is at 2 minutes and 4.5 so I mean I've got to improve by around about 20 seconds to get the gold now if you had seen Lewis's Hamilton's um, introduction video into um, Gran Turismo, you'd see he done this circuit in, in around two minutes or just under two minutes, but he was using a fancy driving rig where I'm just using a dual shock controller, so I think he had a slight advantage there, but don't tell anyone. Okay, as we come up here now, we're coming up to the chicane here, so we take the chicane and then we'll go up to the final corner. Make sure we don't go in the pit lane there, or crash into the pit wall. We'll go off into the sand there by going too fast. 
and it's flat out now and as you can see there we did it in 2 minutes 21.56 we would again we were just outside some five seconds off the bronze medal there and 63 points from Gran Turismo says it wasn't that good but not bad you know lots of room for improvements again the sector times all over the show so we got some room for improvement again there so that's the end of the Nürburgring there and we come up to Monza okay uh, Monza I'm not a great fan of Monza apart from the first chicane I love the first chicane because everyone seems to forget about it don't know why everyone knows it's there you come up to around you're going flat out you come up to around the 200 to 150 meter mark and then you put the brakes on otherwise you go past it it's not difficult but everyone seems to forget it's there okay now the problem i have with monza is it just seems to be chicane straight chicane straight a little bit of bend in the road straight chicane straight it, it, not a great fan of it to be honest with you but it's a racing track and it's there to be drove so you have to drive it as we go around this chicane Okay. Now I honestly don't know what that cone is doing in the road. Don't know how it got there. Okay, as we turn this corner in. Now normally I go off into the sand there, so I think I've done pretty well there. And as we go around this corner here, you can't cut the grass too much there, it will just spin you around there. As you can see the ghost using the car there for a bit of slipstream there overtakes us there for a few seconds okay now we come down to the to the last chicane here we take this well now this is a fourth fourth gear turning you just need to be a bit careful to make sure you i held that off very well there because normally when you come off on that sand you're a goner it spins you okay now at monza at the driving school the gold medal is 1 minute 54 the bronze silver medal is 1 minute 58 and the bronze medal is 2 minutes and 5 and I as we're driving like this I don't think we're even going to get the bronze medal there we go and at 2 minutes 5 seconds point four four six. <laughs> we just missed out by point four six of a second so we missed out by four hundredths of a second on there on a bronze medal mm, and Gran Turismo says he didn't do too well there again you can see by the sector times there it's all over the show so there's lots of room for improvement here at Monza so we'll have to get back and keep practicing at Monza there and now finally we come to Interlagos in Brazil okay this is where the Brazilian Grand Prix is held now again as is, I'm new to Gran Turismo this is the first time I've driven into Lagos I do like into Lagos it's a really nice track to drive um, as you can see there the first corner is really hard to learn you've got to get the line right and the speed right into it and then it makes the corners one and two and three a lot easier and then it's just flat out along here and then when you come to the end of the wall you slow down for the next turning okay now Lewis Hamilton has the fastest lap here at one minute and seven seconds it was set last year in the Grand Prix obviously I don't think he has too much to worry about with me again here doing going around it in a one minute late in the late one minute 40s almost one minute 50s here I don't think he's got to worry about his job too much here okay as you can see it's trying to stick to, it's a very hard circuit lots of twists and turns deceptive turns you know you've got to be really on the ball here as you can see see there's another signature turn there if you see Lewis doing that during the Brazilian Grand Prix say no stop it that's mine okay as we're coming up to the last turn here again slow on the anchors nice skid turn there 
and then it, it, this is the last, it's straight, although this is bend now, it, it's just flat out now, just put your foot down and don't take it off until you come to the first turn, as we're coming up to the start finish line now, be careful, don't cut the corner here, you, you get yourself time penalties when you're racing this properly, and there we go, at 1 minute 48, Point seven two three. As you can see, according to the Gran Turismo driving school, we still wouldn't have got a bronze medal, and we're getting twenty four points. So, Gran, even Gran Turismo says we did terrible there. But as the first time, that was the first time we're driving. I don't think it was too bad to um, to be what um, three three tenths of a second off a bronze medal. As you can see there, the sector times weren't bad. Some room for improvement. So we can get there. Okay, now this is the end of episode three of Track to the Top. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, please leave them below. I read all of the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe onto these videos. And a very special thanks to all my supporters there. So thank you for watching. Take care and goodbye.